Last year, we asked our competition to pick the best personal computer based on price and memory. They all chose the Commodore 64. With all the changes in the computer industry, we thought we'd better check again. The new IBM personal computer chose the Commodore 64. The new Apple IIe chose the Commodore 64. The more things change, the more things stay the same. Commodore, in more homes than any other home computer. This is a Commodore home computer system. With it, you can learn music, take care of your household accounts, file your lists, type your letters, get into telecommunications, and entertain your family. But it all starts with the Commodore 64 or VIC-20. And now is the right time to start because the price of all Commodore software is now up to 50% less. Commodore computers, in more homes than any other home computer. Rather than compare personal computers ourselves, we asked the computers which one was better on the basis of price and memory. The Apple II preferred the Commodore 64. Then we asked the IBM, and it picked the Commodore 64. Then the Radio Shack chose the Commodore 64. That's what we like about our competition. They're so honest. The Commodore 64, what nobody else can give you at twice the price. Good luck, son. Make us proud. This year, two million families will send their kids off to college. But many of these kids won't be able to compete because they lack computer skills. A home computer can help. The Commodore 64 gives you more computer for less money than anyone else. Instead of saving for your kid's education, maybe you should spend a little for it. IBM calls this a personal computer and says a person can afford it, yet it's over $1,200. Apple says computing is a revolution that can't be missed, but at $1,330, you could miss it. Atari says computers are now within reach. Well, the Commodore 64 has more built-in memory than the others, and it's under $600. So, while everyone else talks about the revolution that's coming, you can experience the revolution that's here.